Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jack, I hope you all are fine. I always pray that you live long and always be happy in your life. I try my best to provide you the latest and authentic information about the Iraqi currency. So be connected with me and my YouTube channel. Before start the video I have a request to you all watch this video till end. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start. In today's video, we delve into the riveting world of Iraq's economy, focusing on the recent buzz around the Iraqi dinar and its potential flotation. The concept of floating the dinar has been a subject of intense discussion among economic circles and citizens alike, sparking debates on whether this move could be the key to achieving monetary stability in your pr The Iraqi economy has faced its fair share of challenges over the years, with fluctuating oil prices and regional instability often taking center stage, However, the Central Bank of Iraq has been steadfast in its efforts to maintain price stability and promote economic growth. The primary objective of the bank's monetary policy is to keep inflation under control, targeting a rate below 2% by managing the growth of the money supply. This is crucial for the country as it aims to ensure adequate credit availability and maintain overall financial stability. The idea of floating the dinar comes at a time when Iraq is seeking to strengthen its financial and monetary reality. The move is seen as a step towards aligning the country's economic mechanisms with international standards, providing a more flexible exchange rate that could respond to market forces of supply and demand. It's a strategy that could potentially enhance Iraq's economic resilience, allowing it to better cope with external shocks, such as sudden drops in oil prices or global economic downturns. Floating the currency could also lead to a more efficient allocation of resources as it would reflect the true value of the dinar based on economic fundamentals. This, in turn, could attract foreign investment as investors seek to capitalize on the opportunities presented by a more market-driven economy. Moreover, a floated dinar could improve Iraq's competitiveness in the global market, making its exports more attractive and fostering a more dynamic trade environment. However, the path to floating the dinar is not without its risks. There are concerns about the potential for increased volatility in the exchange rate, which could lead to uncertainty for businesses and consumers. Additionally, the Central Bank of Iraq would need to ensure that it has sufficient foreign reserves to intervene in the market, if necessary, to prevent excessive fluctuations that could harm the economy. The discussion around floating the dinar is indeed getting louder, and it's a topic that has captured the attention of the nation. While there has been no mention of a currency basket, which typically includes a mix of currencies to stabilize the exchange rate, the focus remains solely on the flotation. This approach suggests a confidence in the dinar's ability to stand on its own, reflecting a positive outlook for Iraq's economic future. In conclusion, the potential flotation of the Iraqi dinar is a significant development that could pave the way for monetary stability in Iraq. It represents a bold move towards a more open and market-driven economy, one that could bring about numerous benefits for the country. As we continue to monitor the situation, it's clear that the Central Bank of Iraq's commitment to financial stability remains unwavering. This is indeed good news, and as many would agree, a beautiful step forward for Iraq. 